Okay, we're going to start with getting our version 1.8 API interface. To get this, you need to go to Discord. And on Discord, you need to be part of the STT Discord server. And then under this, you can find hash SkyTrack connection help. You need to click on that. And then in here is the link to download the interface. Click here, get you to this link. You can download this. Boom, you got this. Okay, so the once it's downloaded, you have it in your download folder. You can take that. And I would just copy it or move it. your desktop and then I would extract it into a folder Okay, now that you got it here, this file here is the file you want to run. You want to run this. I would probably create a link. Put it here. And now you've got it on your desktop. Next, you want to test it. When you first run, you're going to get this Windows protected. Protect your PC. You can't see it here. Just make sure you scroll over here. And you should. be able to run anyway. There you go. Okay, so it's not detecting any devices. We're going to turn our SkyTrack on. My SkyTrack is hooked up to USB. Right now mine is refusing to connect. I'm going to reconnect. I'm going to search. I got the middle green light, now I got the top green light. 
on the Skytrack. Now we're armed. We're going to hit a few balls and see if it registers. So when you get this to show up, you can see it registered to shot. It has all your shot data. We'll try one more time and just make sure it's working. That registered the second shot so it looks all good. So next we're going to get GS Pro. So you go to GS Pro, you go to their web page, and you go down to pricing. And if you want to subscribe, you can go ahead and hit buy subscription. If you want to subscribe and put the lifetime add-on, you can do that as well. This is basically locks you into the latest version, you get to keep the latest version at the end of your subscription. And so if you pay five fifty in one year from now, whatever the latest version is on your machine, you get to keep that. But if you renew it, the subscription, you'll keep whatever it is a year after that and so on. So if you can do sub subsequent subscriptions, Whenever you decide to end your subscription, you'll be locked at that subscription. So we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll get you to the point where we're going to buy it. We've already bought it, but I'll, I'll show you what you need to do. So you come to this page. You go ahead and put all your credit card information, you subscribe, and then you should get an email with a code that uh, gets you the GS Pro subscription. I'll show you that next. So here's the email you'll get. You get an email from support at GS Pro, and in this you'll get a key, which is at the top of it, and then you'll get instructions and download to GS Pro. Just go ahead and download it, follow the instructions of unzipping it, and then load the link onto your computer, and you should be good to go. So now that you have GS Pro, you got the launcher on your screen, we've got it here. Now what you can do is you can run this. And we got it. As you can see, all this is red. That means it's not connected. It's not connected. 
What you got to make sure is, is what you want to get this to green and do not close it. You minimize it, but do not close it. What's really nice here is it has all these features on here, which I don't remember seeing this before. It's all the club head data. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reconnect again. I may even have to reload this just because it's supposed to be you load GS Pro first and then you run the the interface and I've got this backwards. Sorry, I picked the wrong one. We need to connect the GS Pro API. There we go, now we're all green. Looks great, so it should be connected. Okay, and now we're gonna just check to make sure it's gonna run. We'll go to the driving range. Okay, GS Pro looks like it's running a little bit slow. I'm probably gonna have to downgrade here on the graphics. You do this by pressing the less than symbol. And if you wanna increase your graphics, up one or down you press once on neither greater than for up and less than for down you can see the shading changed and the shading changed again as I downgraded as upgraded adds more and it adds more and it adds more I'm going to drop it down a couple and see how that goes I'm going to hit a ball There we go, it registered it. I did shank it a bit. Um, I'll hit another one. Shanked another one. And there we go. Looks like it's all working. Hopefully this will help you guys out with being able to load up GS Pro for your SkyTrack. Again, please like and subscribe to the video if you like it. And uh, please subscribe. Definitely we would love more users. We're looking to try and get a thousand subscribers. Any help would be appreciated. And thanks for watching.